afternoon. The call for action comes from members of the city's police oversight task force. They have a list of ideas for how to make APD more accountable and prevent police shootings like the one that killed James Boyd. But the task force says city councilors are taking too long to act. News 13's Chris McKee is in the Newsplex with more. Yeah, Kim, the police oversight task force was formed to revamp the police oversight commission at the urging of city councilors. Now, the commission is the one that polices the police and it's come under fire for having no teeth. Task force members said today they thought their work was done, but after seeing the video, they were outraged and a warning to some. Some of the video we have in the story is hard to watch. This situation is totally unacceptable. The citizens of this city should not be afraid of their own police force. Bold and decisive action is required here. The lack of moral leadership is what has led us to 22 shootings. Now, a handful of community members there today called for an independent review of the police shooting that killed James Boyd in the foothills more than a week ago. APD Chief Gordon Eden says officers shot Boyd after a three hour standoff because he had two knives and was directly threatening a canine officer. But video shows Boyd is shot as he appears to be turning around. Mayor RJ Barry has asked the Department of Justice and the Las Cruces Police Department to investigate the shooting. The task force says that's a step in the right direction, but they're also looking at the bigger picture. They want the city to act on their ideas on how to give more power to the city's citizen police oversight commission. The task force wants to make the commission independent with its own staff and funding, giving it access to IA files, the ability to subpoena records and authority to recommend punishment of officers. They also want the chief to have to explain his decisions. I don't think we need to wait for another shooting to happen before we start to set up some new policies that are going to prevent this from happening again. Now, we spoke to a city councilor today about where those recommendations stand. We'll hear from him more tonight at 530. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Chris. Now, hundreds of community members are also planning to protest tonight in response to the video of Boyd's shooting. They are planning on marching from the Alvarado Transit Center to APD headquarters.